Hey, it's Greg here with MaritimeGardening.com. I was just having one of those afternoons where I was on the couch feeling, and feeling uh, lazy, just taking it easy, eating some snacks. And I thought, uh, boy, I think I could probably get out for half an hour today. I think I got that in me. So, uh, so I thought I'd just bring the camera out and show you what I'm doing here. So I got a garden bed here that's kind of hollowed apart, right? It's framed by wood. And I got some new logs. brought up to the garden the other day. So I'm going to remove what's there and put the new stuff in. And hopefully it's not too windy to capture this on film, but uh, I think I'll just do this with uh, a voiceover probably because it's so darn windy today. But uh, I thought I'd just show the process. And uh, so uh, here we go. <laughs> All right, so here we go. I'm just uh, dismantling the, the outer wall of that raised bed. It's a raised bed that's about a foot high. And I decided to make it a little bit wider front to back, so it'll be a little bit lower, um, but just to make better use of the space. So I'm just tearing apart the, uh, you know, it's rotten pretty, you can tell it's rotten pretty, pretty rotten, right? And I'm going to make it so it's uh, sort of flush with the entranceway there. And I think it'll look nicer, especially with the nice new logs. I think at this bit, point in the video, my uh, son came out and asked me if he needed any help. He's 14, so I asked him to be the cameraman. So, uh, so this is him doing the camera work. I told him to uh, zoom in when he thinks he should zoom in and zoom out when he thinks he should zoom out. So we'll <laughs> he did a pretty good job. Uh, so uh, anyway, right here I'm making a trench. Uh, previously when I've done beds like this, I've used pegs to hold the logs in place. That's all I'm using to, to frame out the bed as these logs. Uh, but I found that if you just dig a, kind of, a, a trench, it's just like an inch or an inch and a half below grade, the log just rolls right into it. Now you can see I can't get this log here to butt up properly because there's this other thing sticking out of the sticking out there but that's okay so I'm just gonna stick some rocks in that gap for now uh, in the spring when things warm up I might mix up a little bit of mortar or something like that and just plug that hole up really good because otherwise weeds will grow out of that any sort of crack or hole or anything like that it's a place weeds want to grow out of you're never gonna get away from weeds but they happen right here there's a stick in there that I just can't get out it's sticking up above grade it's one of the pegs that held the logs in place it won't come out so I just got a rock and I bashed it in uh, <laughs> pretty low tech totally effective and here I'm just smoothing that out making a trench to slide the new log into I'm doing a little check here for width to make sure the width is roughly consistent because you know things got to look nice things got to be orderly <laughs> these are the logs that I uh, I did a video recently on how to move heavy things and these are the logs that I was moving around in that video um, some of them weigh more than others um, so and I don't finish working on this bed in this video because I don't have enough logs I had to get to get some more um, and I filmed this a couple weeks ago so uh, you know everything now is frozen and you know I think it's gonna be minus 14 Celsius tonight um, but this was my last hurrah getting stuff done in the soil Whew. That was, that took some energy. And you can see I've made the garden a little bit wider now, right? I gotta bring that soil down to meet up. And I need some more logs to finish it off. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the end here. I'm still contemplating making the pond wider, uh, but certainly I need to get more logs. So let me show you that leveling process. Great. So now I'm completely out of breath. I need a shower and I got some exercise, but it got me off the couch and I got something done. I hope you have enjoyed watching that video. If you did, please like, share, subscribe. And until next time, get out there, get at it. Have fun in your garden. Thanks for watching. Hey folks, if you live in the USA and want to help support the channel, buy your seeds and gardening supplies from Park Seeds. They have been providing seeds to Americans for over 150 years and have a wide selection of just about everything else you need for gardening. Simply go to my website, MaritimeGardening.com, and click the Park Seed link with the American flag on the right-hand side of the page. The link will take you to their website, and if you buy something after using the link to get there, 
That will help support my YouTube channel and podcast. They offer 15% off on your first order, and they also have a great promotion going on right now, offering free shipping on all orders over $99. So maybe check that out and see what they have to offer. Thanks a lot.